Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, this is episode four of Jarv's Nuzlocke with these guys. I'm so glad you could join me today. Um, so yesterday we beat the gym. Yesterday, that was actually three days ago. A little movie magic for ya. So last time, Team Aqua and this guy ran past us. So let's see what's the sitch. You seem to be really trying your hardest to fix the situation you've put yourself in. But after he asked if he wanted to play catch, he then asked me if I wanted to play Super Smash Bros. Um, that was pretty funny to me. I looked at him and said, are you the biggest nine-year-old I've ever seen in my life? No way, would this work? Wait. How do I get, how do I get in these scenarios? Also, catch is a beautiful thing. You don't really realize it until somebody asks you to play catch, but really, all he was doing was asking me to, like, you know, go out there and, like, spend some time with him. You're throwing one thing to another person, and that person is throwing it just back at you. And I'm not kidding you, like, that can go on for, at minimum, five minutes. At minimum, five minutes. At most, like, genuinely 45 minutes of just throwing something back and forth with each other. And I think that is beautiful. Something tells me she's not a rock star. Why? I mean, Cornflake seems to be... I was gonna say, Cornflake seems to be taking down every legendary. Never mind. Alright, so... This question generator sucks. Um, if you were in a talent show, what would be your secret talent? This is quite gross. Um, and I and I get a lot of people upset with it. I can burp very loud. Like I could just rifle off ten right now. <laughs> That's just a little taste. I could load up a big one too. I'm doing it for Dudley and Jacqueline. All right, let's get one here. That was with minimal effort, too. I know that I was wincing after. It doesn't hurt. It feels great coming in and out. Um, I use it as a tool more so than anything. Like when I'm eating, you know, big meal, I could, I could load it up. Look at all that gas I just, you know, just got rid of. Or I do that same thing and make it loud. Shockingly, people don't like when I do that near them. I think it's pretty funny. Yeah. In a lot of ways, it is gross, because I guess that is just the same. You're expelling gas, whether it's through farts or burps, so I guess I expel a lot of gas through my burps. Which I could see why people get upset with. Also, I've had somebody say that... I'm going to talk about something else. This is the mic stand for today. It's a ceramic house that one of my siblings made. No big deal. Ooh, I can teach somebody cut. Cornflake doesn't really need cut, but he also doesn't need three moves that do the exact same amount of damage. We're going in. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna regret this. So it's clearly gonna go for a water type move on Mom. To which I switch it to Huey. Oh, this is not gonna turn out well. I really messed this up for myself, huh?
I want to go for this hypnosis so bad. But I don't know if it'll hit, and then the cornflake's dead. Also, I made a rule last episode. I didn't look up. Uh, I did not look up Gorbis's move set because it's not a legendary. I'm only going to be looking up Pokemon's move sets um, if they're legendaries. And he is Water Pulse and Scary Face. I mean, Babu, I love you. Huey, you better save Babu's life and hit this hypnosis. Alright, quite confused. You don't miss two in a row. Oh! Oh! I should have thought about that a little harder. So, Babu can't take a water pulse. <sighs> this is your friend's life on the line right here, man, Huey. There's no way you break through attraction and you hit... Come on, please. Please. We don't want... What's the deal with this Kyogre, man? It's just, what is it doing? Oh my gosh, thank God, dude. This is, this is too much. This is way too much. This is like the second battle of the episode. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Oh, you're gonna wake up. Oh, thank God. I'm more scared of the Zangoose here. Mom! That was way too much. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. It's way too much for my little Gibby heart. I'm Gibby, by the way. Why didn't they just call it tomato? Are they allowed to? I mean, who would stop them? Miriam Webster? I don't think she really minds. I think the more her words get used, the more clout she gets. So I think she would actually be a proponent of it. What are you looking? What are you looking at? With your soulless Wait! Is the black above his eyes his eyebrows? And I thought the black was his eyes, but he has little white specks under his eyes. But everybody else's eyes are the black, so Alright. Encounter boys in Ruster of Tunnel. Okay, Huey. Huey, you know what to do. You're gonna sneak up on this thing and you're gonna put it to sleep. Ignore them. It's just me and you, Huey. And this Pokemon in the corner. I want it in the corner. Really? Okay. But we're not getting it in the corner. Alright, what is it? Is it, uh. Uh, Barboach. Mm, not a Barboach. We're taking the goods back home. We're taking the goods back home. Now you come with me? No. Please, call me Jarv. Oh yeah, yeah, we're done in Rustboro. We just need to go back to Mr. Briny's place. So we're gonna do that? After we battle May, I gotta put arthritis in the box. Arthritis? I just got May's phone number, but that's not, like, too exciting, because she's, like, my childhood friend. Egg! 
for being a god, you're pretty easy to defeat. Oh, I get something in here. I wasn't looking for that. There's someone that's sick, right? There's there's a sick person in Rustboro that I must help. I'm full of whimsy and I'm full of joy, and they must receive a smile on their face from me. Oh yeah, I'll tell her something hilarious. <gasps> yeah, I, I don't know why she wouldn't be smiling. Stacy, I'm still angry at you for not just telling me where to get cut. All right. So, end of episode four. Um, this is going swimmingly. I didn't even heal up. This is going swimmingly. I thought that I would definitely lose a Pokemon by now. I should have multiple times, but I'm surprising myself. So, I will see everybody shortly. I'm sorry, that's not how I want to leave. I'm going to leave by complimenting you all. You know, you guys are something special. I can see it right when I look in your eyes that you have a pure soul. A soul as pure as the ocean blue, as pure as safari land untouched. You know what you are? You are happiness provided in a person. And you should let nobody take that away from you. Because guess what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And you're the one beholding. That was great.